Let's build the title section. Simply select the text, delete it, and enter your own title and description. Hover the cursor over the text and click on one of these arrows to move the whole text block up, down, to the right, or to the left. And using the alignment buttons, you can change the alignment of the text itself. As you can see, this is an H1 title, but you can change it to something else like paragraph, small heading, medium heading, and large heading. And there are other options that you can use like numbered or bulleted lists, indentation, and so on. Here you can change the font and the text size. Highlighting the text allows you to change its style, add a hyperlink, and change the text color. We'll go over most of these things later on in our story, but for now, I don't want any text in the title section because I'm gonna use an image instead, this image here. So I'll select and delete all the text, hover over the text box, and click Insert Media. Make sure the Image tab is activated. Here you can upload an image for the large screens, and if needed, you can choose another one for small screens. In a later section, we're going to use two different images for large screens and small screens. But for now, click here to upload from the computer, or simply drag the image and drop it over this area. This is a PNG image, by the way, with a transparent background. You can click here to enhance the image if you want, add a filter, caption, and an alternative text to describe the image for screen readers. If you want the image to be clickable, you can add a link right here. When you're done, click Save Changes. And now if you hover the cursor over this image, you can control its size using these buttons. In the next video, we're going to change the background image.